What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I ordered a paper cutter. You may have to cut papers, cut pages out of books, cut papers down to size. Maybe you're doing some home crafts, whatever. Uh, this one's G. Lisi, and uh, I will put a link to it in the description. But I got it on Amazon, and the reason I picked this one up is I don't cut paper very often, and I just needed the cheapest paper cutter that was available and this one was it as far as i could find at least on amazon to come delivered to me um you know it's it's a little bit different than kind of those like chop guillotine like paper cutters i used as a kid which is fine um but on the other hand they're super reliable and pretty robust and the one i had wasn't even new to me and my family it was super old and used now this thing is all plastic the whole nine yards and what's also interesting is it does come with an extra blade here as you can see um let me see if i can zoom in on that it looks like there's a kind of like a corner of a razor blade basically it looks like there's a little protective housing to make sure that you don't slice yourself on it um and i'm assuming that you can probably buy more of these if you needed to if we take a quick look at the paper cutter you can see here that there is like this clear plastic, kind of like a uh, ruler with a center channel on it, which is where the, the blade will ride. And it looks like you push down on the blade, you push down on the thing to kind of get that blade lower. You can see that? So you have to kind of push and drag it. And it looks like it flows pretty smoothly. It kind of reminds me of those matting cutters for paintings. Uh, so you put your paper in there, flop it down, and then drag this back and forth. And as you can see, you know, I won't call it super sturdy, but hopefully it should work. You have little foam, not rubber, foam feet on the, the bottom here, six of those. Uh, and then you also have, you know, a grid on the side if you're trying to get, theoretically, um, a specific size. You even have some angles here if you're trying to, I guess, trim off the corner of a uh, certain paper. And I guess what's interesting to me is I'm assuming that when it says one inch here, it means it's from here because I'm also seeing four, three, two, one, zero centimeters, I'm assuming. So if you are, you know, cutting an index card or you need something, you know, specifically at a, a specific length, the cool thing is, is these seem to be lined up to the cutting channel. All right. now. We have to demo it, obviously, because that's what we do here at the Institute. And I have some paper, you know, thicker, like notebook paper, kind of, I guess, let's call it kind of standard. I'm not gonna be real kind to it here. All right, but let's say you get a piece of paper like this and you get a real rough cut and you're trying to trim it out. And just lift this bad boy up. I think you wanna push the cutter all the way off the edge. And then let's say I just want a nice clean cut hold it down and pull it down now it did cut all the way through and that is a super clean cut and I actually kind of like that over the, the the chop because you actually when on the chop type of paper cutters what I always had a tendency to do is it kind of kind of push the paper and sometimes I'd get a little bit of those off cut like angled cuts instead of a real straight cut have you seen that and it's because of the the way the blade is kind of tensioned against the other cutting edge so the cool thing is it's not really it doesn't have any bias it's not trying to push the paper one direction or the other so it does give you a nice clean cut of course you've got a little tiny blade here that can wear away now the other thing i will say just from using this for a second here and i'll go ahead and throw it in here again is that i had my finger here and it did bump my finger not that that hurts or anything but i feel like um, you don't necessarily need to put pressure on this. I kind of was trying to brace it to, to keep the, the cutter moving smoothly, but I guess you don't need to put your fingers up on there. Uh, you can just probably hold the paper in place. Yeah, seems to work fine. So, and who, heck, who knows? Maybe I don't even need to put the, I feel like you need some sort of pressure, but this little plastic ruler type of thing may put enough pressure on the paper in and of itself to make a nice clean cut. Yeah, looks like it does. So anyway, now you can do all sorts of crafts, cut paper at home. I think this thing is pretty cool, actually. And like I said, I bought it because it was the cheapest one I could get my hands on. I think it was under $14 or right at about $14. Uh, it does come with the extra blade there. So cut at home with 
pride and precision. Peter Von Pandau, 